Welcome to Empty Thoughts. Um, it is officially March. It's Women Appreciation Month. So, uh, yeah. Today's going to be one of them episodes. So, hold on. I'm waiting for my flowers. So, so like, you for, you're forgetting the other line. What's the other line? Like, and, you know, I just want to give thanks to my amazing, terrific co-host, Taylor. Okay, so shout out to all the great, wonderful women out there, like my co-host, <laughs> the very tall Taylor. <laughs> How you doing, Taylor? I'm good. Thanks. Because I know even though I'm short, I'm tall with attitude. Period. So now <laughs> we also have a few other beautiful women, some unapologetic Black women, Period. okay, from We Talk Back, I got AJ and Tam Bear. So I don't know any yeah. apologetic hey. black women. Wait, hold on. Hey. Exactly. Hey, let's say, hey. like. Coming in sassy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wait your month. <laughs> and let's be very clear, they were on Essence 2022 list of women podcasts, okay? Period. Yeah, yeah. on the Black and Fight Network. And you know, they're moving up as me being their producer. So. <laughs> I like the hat. Thank that, you. What is that, velvet? It, it is. See? I think. <laughs> it matches the couch. <laughs> Go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm Tam Bam. Mm -hmm. um, I'm co-host of We Talk Back with AJ, like she said. We talk shit and have fun on the show. And we devour men on the show, so it's so nice what? to have you That's here. That's what we do? We kind of do. No, I is, don't think so. Is Taylor a good producer? She's great. We love Taylor. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying, to get, you your, trying yeah. to get you your flowers, Taylor. But asking them, you can Yes, is Taylor a good producer? Okay. Yes. I'll yeah, take it. she's a good Thank producer. You. I think so. <laughs> I mean, I don't have her nothing to compare her to. I haven't had another producer, so I can't really say that. <laughs> like, <laughs> it'd be like, damn, sure. Taylor ain't used to do that. <laughs> <laughs> we might get a different producer and find out, like, oh, Taylor, what is she? No. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Oh, like, no, she's I'm great. AJ Holiday, mm -hmm. co-hosted, uh, co-hosting again. Anyway, with Tam, we talk back. What yeah. brought you guys together as a podcast? Just talking shit. I mean, it's normal. <laughs> it's just like nice, fun conversations we were already having. Talk about y'all niggas, you know the regular. Right thing. on the phone. We be on the phone hours. Yes. My, why not try to make money doing the same thing? Y'all went to school together, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Went to college together, but it was after college that we started like really talking to each other. And Once I out. moved to Charlotte, mm -hmm. two thousand and, and it was her idea. She was like, "Bitch, we funny. Let's do a podcast." <laughs> That's really how it happened. Wow! And here we are. Yeah. What are some of the um, the highlights you guys have had since doing a podcast? Have you had any super highlights? Highlights. Like funniest conversation. It's Best always our guess. stories. You know what I'm saying? Like these little things that just be happening in life as you get older. Give me one so, story. Ah, shit. I'm a, listen, one of the funniest stories to me is one of your stories. Which, which one? Tell me. <laughs> <That's> like, which <laughs> one? <laughs> I'm going to whisper it to her, y'all first. Oh. <laughs> Are we talking about that? Let's hear it. Okay. Whisper to her, or secrets are for everybody. Yeah. This would be, you know, maybe we should have a segment like that where we talk about like our worst sexual experience. Like the the worst shit that ever happened to <laughs> you. <sexual> <laughs> so, okay. I don't want to say I have irritable bowels or nothing like that, but I do. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going there. <laughs> Let's go there. That's just funny. But that's how Literally. we start to show up? I'm confused. Okay. So you don't okay. have to tell it. Ear of the bowels. Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay, so this I is took a lap. All his, this is, this is I'm what he right on my alley. Yeah. Oh. Go ahead. Let's go. <laughs> Literally. Stupid. <laughs> so, I took a laxative. You know, I mm. was anticipating. Usually, I'll take a laxative, you know, once a month or something like that. And I'm going to chill in the house. This, this is going to be a day I'm not going to do shit. No company. I'm not <laughs> going <shit>. outside. <laughs> I'm going to just <laughs> take that shit in the morning and take that shit at night. Like, for real. But I ended up having company that evening. Mm -hmm. So my guy came over and, uh, you know, I'm trying to do some extra porn type shit. I'm squatting. <laughs> I'm squatting, sucking dick in the corner or some shit. <laughs> like, whatever. <laughs> I'm in a squatting froggy position. And I gag. 
<laughs> and then <laughs> like a little quarter size, little quarter size piece of doo doo came out, like about that big, like loose too. I don't know what it is, but it's loose. <laughs> came out. Okay, all right. Hold on, no, it's better. It, it gets better. It gets better. Wait, but wait, wait. before I could clean it up, my dog ate it. <laughs> <laughs> And the nigga was running around the room like this. <laughs> yeah, that was so funny, funny nasty. It's embarrassing. Did it make it sound when it came out? But he loved me so what? much. No, only, no, 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 no. Only reason I'm asking because if you're sucking his dick, right? He wouldn't have noticed. No, he wouldn't he didn't have noticed know until I looked up. Like <laughs> <laughs> I just shit on the floor. <laughs> Hold on, my my question is: Did it stop the sexual? Intercourse, like did did it stop? No, did I we continue? Took a shower, and, like we still we continued to have sex. Like ain't what? no way nobody sucking dick with doodle on the floor behind them. Like yeah, I cleaned everything up, and probably like thirty minutes later, we was in it. Like what's wrong? Okay. okay. But yeah. did the guy say anything? Well, the dog cleaned things up. But <laughs> <laughs> did the guy say anything? No. What are you supposed to say? Like he was just running around the room like <laughs> naked. Like, Nah, nah, nigga. Nah. Like he's nah, throwing nah, up in his mouth nah, or something are, like that. We are not not gonna talk about the shit that just happened just right here. <laughs> we are going to. Uh, I took a laxative and I asked, I gagged, which is your fault, might I add. Why is it her? His fault. His not fault. His. I, I gagged on the dick. Well, I didn't know you took a laxative. <laughs> Did you? Was it the first? Take was that, was that the first head. time you gagged on the dick? <laughs> Couldn't have been the first time. <laughs> With no, but sometimes you gotta hold it. No. Yeah, a fart could have slipped gagging. Did how long did you <laughs> how long did you guys Y'all continue to date after that? Gagging? I have not. I don't think so. During sex? I don't think so. A fart? No. Nah. Mm. I done had a coochie fart. Do that Creeps are creeps are normal. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can't. You get. You be like, that's my coochie, not my butt. That's my coochie. Like, you gotta just confirm. Let them know. Man. No, nigga. You I was like, I'll tell you, you my can story. You tell the like, difference I'll between tell a, a queef and a fart. Nigga. Yeah, you can tell your story too. What's my story? I'm what? Natural the Duke story. Nasty I'm not telling you story about... ever again. You already brought no, go it ahead. Up. No, go ahead. Tell yours. No, it has nothing related to shitting, but I definitely peed on a guy's bed, and he thought it was squirt. Well, that's what squirt is. No, it was definitely like it was definitely pee though. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. But you had to pee if you didn't I've get up saying. and you just peed in the bed. Yeah. I cannot Wait, stand what? Y'all. <laughs> you just was like, no, I'm just gonna stay here. <laughs> this ain't my I bed. I thought Fuck I was it. like, it was a lot I was fucking and I thought it was screaming, but then I thought about it, like this is still a lot of <laughs> but that's what the word is. Is this pee? This is I don't think it was scraping. Was I it really, really warm think... when it came out? It was nice, feeling nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's get the show started. Are you not okay? Oh, it's not starting. No, no, no. That was just this the intro. It. As I said, this how y'all want to start. Something that was about the intro. Shit. But this, but this gives me great segue to our first topic. <sighs> Gosh. All right. To you single women out there, Taylor, please read the screen. <sighs> anyway, so look, before that, though, so like I said before, you guys have a thing called Stupid Internet News Sins of the Week. So we have basically about our show is Make It Make Sense. So there was a study called um, from the Pew Center Research conducted a study that said 63% of men under age 30 would rather stay home and watch porn than go on a date. Mm. Men say they are getting their needs met without having to go on a date. Would you? Would men rather stay single than be with a woman? Is the question. That's what they're saying, pretty much. Sixty-three percent of men under thirty. Damn. I think they're cheap. Yeah, they just ain't got no money. They don't have money. Which you should get your money up before you start dating. So it is cheaper to sit home and beat your meat, right? Than actually go out and find actual women to hang out with. That's I sad disagree. reality. I disagree. Why? What do you think? Is it what less of what a do you headache think? to have Here to deal with a woman or something? There it goes. Like it's a headache. Now I gotta take you out. I gotta hear what you had to tell your whole day. I That's gotta. That's why you take out people you actually like, and then you don't feel that. Yeah, but then what? Well, I gotta get to know you first to like you, right? Yeah. So how do I get to know you? Talk. Call on the so phone. So you rather fuck yeah. your hand? Uh, hey, listen. I'm married. 
Yeah, you always got to say. <laughs> okay, so you wasn't, got these nigga if you wasn't these nigga married, if you wasn't married, I'd probably be beating my meat at 100 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying at under 30, so you're under 30 and everything else. You would? No, but I think, uh, honestly, it probably has a probably has a little bit to do with what she said about the, the not having money. Because mm. taking girls out definitely costs money. Yeah, and, and in, my, in my 20s, I didn't have it like that to take y'all out to the places that y'all wanted to go. If y'all wasn't going to Applebee's and to Fridays. But there are I some think that's women responsible, though. And I feel like porn is more easily accessible now than, you of know. Course. Oh, Twitter is a fucking yeah. amazing. I'm not even talking yeah. about Twitter. I'm talking <laughs> Pornhub and stuff. Yeah, it's just so easy. Pornhub has, like... Like traffic girls on there, you don't want to do that. Like a lot of those girls have been. What, traffic. Do you be looking really? up? No, no, I don't look up crazy shit like that. There's a st- there was stories saying that Pornhub was there's like girls that are getting trafficked. There's a whole like mm-hmm. section so, for that. So where Even is the, the one... conflict free porn? There's no. Uh, I believe it's <laughs> voyeurism, like you know, regular people doing porn. I don't watch like porn stars. Okay. Hmm. I was like, like oh. but how would you know? Right. Like, how would you know who's being trafficked and who's exactly. not? Like, you wouldn't on anything. I mean, <clears throat> why are we? Unless you're watching couples. There it goes. I like couples. I like amateur porn. There it I goes. love amateur porn. Everybody got to be moisturized, though. If it's black people, I don't really <laughs> watch. Be ashy. Like yeah, that. they do be ashy, man. I like glory hole. That's my thing. You got- Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow! No, I feel judged by the okay. room. Like you know what bothers me? I hate seeing guys that have be naked and then they got the boots or something. Like that. That's just weird to me. If, if I gotta go, I gotta go. I like the boots. You like the boots? What's wrong with the boots? Wesley Pipes, nigga. <laughs> I don't like that shit. Man. They gotta have yeah, them non flip socks feet. on. Yeah, <laughs> to get a balance. Exactly. You need to... traction. There you go. That's what, what I was looking for. Traction. <laughs> Socks on this floor. Well, Look at that. Let me ask you a question. That's bullshit though. Cause y'all, so y'all fuck with a guy that no, exactly. So you that's what I'm saying. Know that but would you movie. not? But it's porn though. So I would say, what the fuck you got your shoes on? First of all, first of all, why you have your shoes on still in my house? That's right. Then you take your that's pants off and then put your shoes back on. Yeah. Yeah. No. Nah, nah, to say it. that that is kind of weird. You took your Thank whole you. stuff off and then you put your and shoes you put your shoes back on. That's crazy. What kind of sexual deviant are you, nigga? <laughs> you like glory holes. <laughs> a I feel nigga that dug in a hole. Just you shit right on the there. floor. Leave it alone. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Pardon me? Now, Leave now, it alone. Really feel- glory now, hole is like, you like oh, a it's like mur- now, mystery now, dick. It's now, like mystery meat now. for lunch. <laughs> Now, Tim. I'm going to just keep saying that. <laughs> that now, it's like, Please now, Tim. Please do not Tim. tell my Dookie story. I'm having a real... Hold on, she's real... got a Dookie story yeah, too? She... <laughs> Please tell. Uh, all right. <laughs> this Why does this story be stressing you out? <laughs> because it's because people going to come up to me after they see this. They going to be... All right. College. <laughs> Went to the sex store with my guy friend. We was like, let's find some new toys to play with. We got some anal beads, right? We're playing with the anal beads. He sticks it in my butt, right? I'm like, oh, whatever. He he shoves it in there, right? He shoves it all the way, all the full beads all the way. And I holler. So I'm like, pull it out. He snatches it out and it's like covered in shit sickles. Like literally shit sickles hanging off all the beads. But isn't that, isn't that normal though? I don't know. I ain't did that shit since then. I believe uh, it's normal for women who don't just be having anal sex. Like, yeah. men who have, you know, probably gay men, they, they take care of their ass. And like, they, they clean do. it out. I didn't yeah, know to do that. Just... Oh, hold on. Time out. Uh, not, not to interrupt you. Not to interrupt you. <laughs> Inside I'm, I'm, there. I am so oh, <laughs> involved right now. Okay, um, so I saw a clip of this dude in the strip club take the butt plug Ooh, out it. homegirl's uh, and butt mouth. and in his mouth. That's oh, nice. That's nasty. Too. I seen that. It yeah, is that's, wild. Wild. that's bacteria. And so, what's the difference between that and eating ass? I don't like my ass eats. I don't like it. I, my... Like it's doo doo. I don't. I don't agree with it. You eat for me? <laughs> <laughs> How drunk are we? Like, what kind of drugs we on? Like, it's not like a go to. Like, oh, every man I'm with gotta eat it, but. If it happens, I'm not asking anybody to do it, but if that's their thing, I'm not going to stop them, but it's hella You going to let them come up and kiss you? No. You're not kissing me in the mouth after that. 
Tomorrow, I'll kiss you. <laughs> Wait, you tell her I know what you're you not about to, I'm about to see what? you. Tomorrow. <laughs> so, so she can't kiss me after I ate her ass, but I'm supposed to kiss her after I nutted in her mouth? That's two different things. How is that two different things? It's ass is that is exactly. doo doo fecal yeah. matter doo doo exactly. so so your semen is fecal matter got it like, <laughs> that's exactly what that I means seen a, I seen this uh this story online where this girl met a guy on Tinder right mm -hmm. and she they had sex first night and she let him ejaculate on her face the next day or a couple oh, days yeah. later she started having like essentially like worms <gasps> coming out and the doctor told her Oh, that type of shit is from fecal matter. Ay, ay, ay. So that penis was probably in some booty. In some booty. In, in some booty at some point. Maybe her booty. It, it could have be a woman or, I mean, but that, that had there to be worms excessive on booty. her face? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, Taylor? First of all, don't, I'm going to tell you, that's not me. That's not me at all, so don't even try it. <laughs> but, okay, so to wrap up the moral of the story, though, so you... I think it's responsible for yeah. thirty year olds to not go out on a date. You think you think it's responsible? If they're not going out on a date because they're broke, then that, I mean that wasn't the the conclusion of what we came to. I'm think a lot of guys just don't want to deal with y'all. I don't think that's true. Well, fuck your hand then. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so do men you not think, like you? Men think, exactly. Really? I men? believe. Listen again. I love my wife. Okay, Dude, let's not let's not project this way. Liking and loving is two different things. I Do you love... like your wife? Yes, we have okay. fun. We laugh all okay. the time. Great. Absolutely. Tell these girls something. <laughs> um, but um, I think one niggas is lazy nowadays, mm -hmm. and Absolutely. two, and women nowadays have a standard that they're that they're that they're they're wanting now, and niggas aren't wanting that to, to live up to that standard. What's or the standard? they just can't get none. That's Those true. guys, right. there are guys that are, just can't get pussy. Yes. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Incels. But what? Wait. Go back to what standard are we? Do we have? Oh, now Taylor doesn't know about standards. You the I same one know, that well, said you said you that we have a we have a standard now, as in like we didn't have these standards before. Twenty thirty years ago, it wasn't the same standard that it is. The now. standard was higher twenty exactly. years ago. Exactly. You think so? Yes. No, there's pussy everywhere out here, God. What are you talking about? That so that, it's a lower standard now. Yes. So y'all, so the men should be able to get pussy exactly. now. So if you can't get pussy in this climate. You can't get pussy. Oh, oh you, you ain't super got lazy. forty dollars. No, you, you ain't got forty dollars. The pussy you want. There is somebody hey, that's gonna let you smash. Right. Men, like I said, be a three or two to three, and they want a ten. A lot of times, <laughs> know your holler level. Get you a two to three woman, and have sex. Right. And, and procreate and be happy and all that shit. Stop. Stop going up there and getting mad. Okay, that's what be happening. Let's be clear. So, so, so you're, you're telling men to 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 um know in, your holla stay, level. Stay in their range. Yeah. Yes, there is a range. Mm. Right. And then there's another. Mm. There's another uh, daddy you gotta also take into consideration. That's the LATN score. That's life after the nut. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Life yes. after the nut. Enlighten me. I'm listening. Do you, are you going to like this bitch after you come? Right. Yes or no? Nine are times Are you going to like no. this guy after you've not drunk no more? Yes or no? We have to. You have to calculate those things. But how here. do you know that until you come, though? Exactly. It's fucking scary. <laughs> <laughs> it's you think scary. that if the guy is dating and everything else, like, I would think that sex wouldn't matter. So, I, actually, at a certain age, too, that sex wouldn't matter. That, that's mean? a healed As in, like... What? Just because you, because how you just said life after the nut and stuff, like, are you gonna like her afterwards? What are we talking about though? Like, are they dating already? And then, like, why wouldn't they? Why Shit, wouldn't one night stand can turn into dating, right? You're right. It depends yeah, on the person, too. it depends on that damn LATN score, right? <laughs> life after nut. I, I can't believe I learned that something new today. Like a, like a, a rating. That's a real <laughs> thing. So, what's the score? Well, like, what's the score ratio? How's that? How's that scored? I don't know. Is I it guess a one to ten, it, one to one hundred? It probably would be like a one to ten. Wow! So all of these things go into the life after night. Yeah, I don't know about the toes. Like, do you no, I'm looking not looking at, at men feet. feet. As long as they don't look homeless. Yeah. As long as the feet don't look homeless, we good. <laughs> I think my one my one toe is starting to protrude, but that's the old age, I think. It's like this. 
It's leaning. He's like, he got it's, it's, it's he starting to deal with them feet. You it's married, nigga. I don't care about them feet. <laughs> don't nobody care about married feet, nigga. <laughs> Shut up. I ain't mad at it. Anyways. Next topic. <laughs> um, going on to, I guess, using the hand and devices. Did y'all see that there was like this kissing device where a Chinese inventor creates a kissing device to mimic real kisses? He had the idea for a long distance relationship in college. What do y'all think about that? It's just so a, what is it? It's a different it's version really, of beating me. It looks me. like it looks like a flashlight, like for guys, but it just has lips on them. And, and it goes like his it? girlfriend. Yeah, lips. that's weird as fuck. <laughs> You in there kissing a the flash? Me under thirty need that. Weird ass thing. <laughs> you say what? The dudes beating their meat under thirty? They're gonna need right. that. They need that. No, 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 so no. You, but this is this is with your, your you partner. With like your partner. Right? Yeah, you're supposed to be on a virtual call. Uh, you know, like no. Nah. That's weird. What? It's weird. Uh, it's kind of weird. It's kind of metaversey. Yeah, definitely yeah. metaversey. I'm I like people that. in real life. Please. But well, that's where we're heading to. Y'all think like I'm not headed there. Y'all go. What do you think? Because this is who I believe the metaverse is going to be the next big thing. I We're already think. in the metaverse. We're already in it, though. Yeah. So no, how no, big? No, 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 no. We're at the very primitive stages of, of what this metaverse is for it. Because... It's like surrogate. That's right, the surrogates. Yeah. That's what there, that. You're going to be sitting up watching TV, <laughs> and me. your surrogate is going to be living the life that you wanted to. So you could be this big, fat white guy at the house hooked up to this console. Your actual you are body. Badass black woman. Smashing in the alley somewhere after the club. That's, That's not fun. <laughs> that's that's, that's for people who no, don't want to be but, themselves. But you don't I, like me. I mean, I like being me, but it'd be cool. And that's and, and that's what, and that's the then. thing. You enjoy your life, right? There's millions of people don't. that don't. Mm. That's like, yo, I fucked this shit up. I got, I could be somebody else in a different thing they and not really have to. Already though, don't they have it with the what's that thing called, the War Warcraft, whatever that game is? Do you guys know what I'm talking the about? The Sims is like that. Mm. Yeah, the Sims in a way too, but like. Again, people that are addicted to like video games and everything else, <clears throat> they do definitely like live. In. Yeah, like they live in. Oh, that. that Oculus! They put the Oculus. The first time I have the, I had, I have the Oculus. I love that it. shit. Is addicting. Mm-mm. The first when Tammy, first you still got use the Oculus? It. I haven't it's used it. In a I minute. liked it, but I wasn't like how long. How you have it like at your house? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Yo, I think your dog farted. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something stinks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I used I like to like with my guy friend. I would put on the uh, trip. It's an app called Trip, and it's like real trippy. And let him smoke weed and suck his dick while he on the Oculus. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Tam Bam a freak in the half, fam. What? It's called Trippy. So what is he? Saying? It's called Trip, and it's like it's just like colors, a kaleidoscope, and, yeah, kinda, like colors going on. Oh, that's, Smoking a blunt, like, yeah, that sounds fun for a guy, man. But how? Why does she enjoy? It? It's powerful. It's powerful. Yeah. Got this nigga <laughs> in the palm Yo, of my hand. I'm, I'm calling my wife now. I'm trying that. You gotta try that because because now, now I'm thinking stupid. You got the Oculus on. You just right. Yeah, I'm trying that. But you got excited. <laughs> like, like, after we finish, you're like, what's that app again? Trippy. I heard it. We're putting it in the phone, babe. Yeah. Okay. Well, so y'all wouldn't do it? No, nah, that's you talking about kissing a uh, flashlight? Yeah. Have y'all no. been in long distance relationships? I have. Have you? I have. And nigga ended up having a baby, all type of shit. Damn. So maybe we could have kissed through the phone. <laughs> it, I don't think it would have saved. It. I don't think it would have saved. It. Kiss me through the phone. <laughs> like, do y'all think it works though? Long distance relationships? Yeah. No, no, I'm not with that shit. Really? I need to be able to touch you. But well, how far long distance though? Have you been long distance relationship? I mean, oh uh, no, really? Mm-mm. I'm totally touchy. I don't do that. I don't, I don't trust think you that's either. true. Okay. I've been 800 miles. <laughs> 800 mile laughing? long distance. Only because I know a couple that was long distance for like four years. Again, this is back before like social media, like all that sh- kind of now stuff. Now you got the whole yeah. Right. And they ended up getting married and had babies. But now. The, and the same thing, there's FaceTime. Right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now, like, nigga, what's up? Circle the room, please. 360. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, so there's there's ways to make sure niggas say, I mean, niggas gonna do what niggas gonna do, man. It's, 
I ain't thinking about the right. Nigga, I wouldn't be using the kissing thing though, but you know. And the girl. No, the I'm definitely doing the trippy shit. Under the bed. No, that the kissing. <laughs> you would do that? I said I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. But I don't know. I like to kiss. But I even if maybe if they're on a trip or something, they're away from home, but y'all like actually together. <laughs> That's how you know what this would be good for? What? People who are in the military and they're like oh, yeah. stationed somewhere like in a war zone and they could kiss their bitch in Iraq, you know? No doubt. No doubt. As soon as the lights go off, they find out one little CEO chick that's going to give him a kiss. What are we talking about? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> what are we talking about? You're right. Come on, man. <laughs> Taylor, listen, let me tell you something. You would not be comfortable sitting there looking at this thing like. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not doing it. I don't give a fuck who you thought you was dating Wait, a million miles away. Point, you're Princess, not doing that. Princess said a good point, though. It's not just going to... I'm not using it for my life. Oh, shit. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Okay, you got... You're on to something there. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> is there, is, there's a tongue attached to this. That's all I want to know. Uh-huh, and then and when there's herpes like, on your lip. <laughs> is he, I knew, yo, I knew he was going to go to that. The herpes thing on the lip. Herpes is coming. But why would herpes transfer it? It's From your own body to your own mouth. digital herpes. I'm done. <laughs> I'm digital scared. herpes. <laughs> Virtual herp. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man. Let's move along. Come on, next one. Okay. So, y'all are known to be on Project We Black. So, we're going to have some questions for you that Amiz is going to take over because... Uh-oh. He has some questions for y'all. These uh, your questions? No, no, no. That's what we're doing? These are my questions? All right, no doubt. I'll take, I'll take ownership <laughs> of them. Okay. Um. Wow. No. I, I believe... <laughs> Do do women have a stigma around being irrational? Absolutely. Do you think that's a false narrative? I think that um, both men and women could be irrational. I think men believe that they're so rational, they're so easy. Right. I've been writing a book for a very long time, and the very <laughs> first sentence was, uh, men are as complicated as the word the. A word that everybody uses. You start sentences off, but what the fuck does "thee" mean? You can't. You got to get the dictionary to look that up. Like men think they're so simple, but y'all aren't simple at all. No, at all. Not at all. And you know, it's this feminine versus masculinity thing. Uh, feminine versus masculine thing that's going on, right? I feel like to be a well-rounded person, you got to embody both. So they say like masculine is like uh, uh, decisive. You know what I'm saying? You know exactly what you want. Assertive. Mm -hmm. A woman can be that as well. <clears throat> I think most people are rational at some point, right? Yeah. It, it shouldn't yeah. matter what your gender. Yes. Okay. I I mean, this was going to be black women irrational, but I made sure it wasn't targeted because I didn't feel that was a, a black woman trait as one. Let's let's let's, let's okay. okay. Let's pull y'all behind the curtain because y'all about to kill bitches, me. Some other bitches probably is irrational, but not black women. I think, like you said. <laughs> Everybody's irrational. It yeah. depends on a certain situation. Mm -hmm. Right. I agree. agree. Okay. Now, this is my question. Is it, here we go. <laughs> okay. Why do women want to be independent in a relationship? That's me. You well, what is in the... Yo, what do you mean independent? Like, it. define what? that for me, because yeah. I don't understand. Because I want a soft life. I don't know what the fuck Okay, that is. so, Taylor, you, you are you an independent woman? What I believe so, yes. Okay, so... I do shit for myself. Okay, now, and when you're in a relationship, do you still believe you're an independent woman? Yes. Why? Just because he's here doesn't mean I'm not still doing for myself. I didn't say you're not doing for yourself. But that's what I'm thinking of. But when you're an independent woman, you're okay. independent of everyone else. You're on an island to yourself. Like you said, you do for yourself, you handle yourself, you're to yourself. But once you're in a relationship, you no longer have to do for yourself in the manner of which you did. Uh, I disagree. Are, let me... Go ahead. Are men independent in a relationship? No. Yeah, you're right. Cause y'all hella dependent, <laughs> and oftentimes women in relationships, we can't really. This is my based off my experience now, and then seeing other people's relationships, like you really have to. Like he can depend on me, but I can I depend on him? Right. Like I have to exactly. independently do a lot of things. No, no I disagree with y'all. You can't be in a relationship and be independent. It don't. What's your, the definition what's your of definition? independent means? Just you. So how are you doing that with somebody else? It's Let not me possible. Look it up exactly. Because yeah, I, I feel like I don't feel like it's like yeah. I said. Like I say, I depend on my wife. 
like she depends on me. Right. It's 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 a it's a cohesive unit. You don't. Right. She's not independent of herself. She got her own bank account. I got my own. We're not doing that. We're not so doing she'll that. Have her own. Well, that's a marriage. Okay. Right. We have we have a says, family account and she has hers and I have mine. It says independence is free from outside control, not depending on an, another's authority. And that's your problem. You have a problem with authority. That's why you don't want to feel. But dependent. why is he? Hold on. Why is my man trying to an boss me around? Yeah, like I don't figure. He's your man. But nobody should no, boss anybody. Exactly. I want why my nigga to be the around? leader, though. Y'all don't. I want to be a decision maker with my partner. Yes, I, and I feel like but you don't want him to be like the, out, always having. To I be want a soft maker. life. I want. A, I want a leader. I want a leader in my man. I want, I want to be able to look to at my man and be Are you going to let him lead? Him to lead. I but let him everything... lead. They don't know where to fucking go, though. That's the fucking problem. A lot of these niggas want to so be So you're picking leaders. the wrong niggas, baby. Maybe I am, but I'm just saying, don't make it seem like these all these men are just leaders. They're no, not. I never I never said leaders that. are born that way, you know? That's how I feel, too. I, I never like said that. I never anyway. said that. I never said that. Okay. But I'm just saying, though, when you say you want your man to lead... Mm-hmm. I want someone to... I've been... Running this shit for a long time. I want a nigga to come and take the reins. Yeah. And, no, but he can't. But I feel like it should be... Um, and I was just having this talk with Taylor. When I'm saying 50-50, I'm yourself? not necessarily saying... <laughs> you having this talk with Taylor. No, my, sorry. My best friend's name is Taylor. <laughs> no, she's, no, she's crazy, though. She's crazy. She's crazy. Sorry, she's crazy. my best friend is Taylor. She's crazy. She calls like... herself Taylor. You see that? I'm going to start doing Amazing. that shit. You know, I was just saying that to Tammy. <laughs> y'all better stop playing with Y'all better stop playing with me. <laughs> <laughs> my best friend Taylor I was just talking to. Um, when I think of 50-50, I'm not necessarily thinking of like literally 50-50 because I know it's going to be where, say, I'm easy. You're probably 70 and then maybe your wife is 30 one day or something like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But in, I'm saying for 50-50, both of the people have to, I guess, pick up each other's Yeah, slack. absolutely. That's, mm-hmm. that's what I mean by 50-50. So... Okay, so- ready? Ready? Hey, hey, I'm going to give you an example. She cooks, I clean. Which hard, Which job is harder? I think both of them. They are equally... Come on, man. Depending on what you cook. Come on, man. Come on, Depending man. Depending on how many dishes. Come on, like. man. Come on. Um, it could be... Cooking's harder than cleaning. Yeah, I was going to say... Come on, man. Cooking. Come on. <laughs> I was going to say, say cooking. Okay, no, it's harder than cleaning. So I, I would tell I would tell I, I would say in that dishes. aspect she's she's doing 60, I'm doing 40. It's never 50-50. Something is harder than the other one. Oh, well, if you're gonna go that way, I'm not necessarily going what's harder. I think I think everybody should maintain a certain level of independence within a union. Thank you. I, think I agree too. You should yeah. you should be able to be self sufficient without me if uh, on a right. daily exactly. basis. Exactly. guys, we, so what's the problem? That's how I feel. So the question is, why do women want to be? I don't think that we want to be independent. I think some women may end up in situations where they have to they be. They feel like they but, have to be. But they don't, they don't necessarily want to be independent in a relationship. Uh, listen. You disagree or no? I, 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 I feel like there is a certain type of female that doesn't feel comfortable submitting to men because she's been so comfortable Dealing with doing without that, so that's possible. That woman yeah. might exist. Why? Why right over here? I'm not sure. Well, yeah, that woman does exist, but there's a reason why she is that way. Ops, I'm not she saying may not she's wanna, a... she may not want a relationship no more. You know what I'm saying? So women get to that point sometimes. Black women have been bred to be independent. Mm-hmm. You know, we haven't always. Is that a good I'm, thing? I'm, no, I'm not saying it's a good thing, but that's what survival mode. Looks like. Reads. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because our parents, our mothers, our single mothers had to do things. My mom was married to my dad, but had to do a lot of things like by herself still. So it's about partner selection. I always say it's about, it's, it really boils down to partner selection. Yeah. That's it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Right. Thank you, Tammy and AJ. <laughs> now. <laughs> Yo, you didn't win. Why not? You didn't win. Why not? I think this is even keel. Right. There ain't no fighting. It's real. not a win or a uh-huh. shit throwing yet. You're right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, tell, the, tell the man in the room. Because I wasn't trying to make it a competition, but it's clear. No, tell Tammy and AJ. Tell <laughs> Tammy and AJ. <laughs> what was that? First of all, we're in Women's Month, Women Appreciation Month. So I'm disappreciating. Woo! Period. <laughs> That's a good spin. Period. 
Commendable. That's the mission. Okay. There we go. Manipulation. Okay. That's what we call a spin, ladies and gentlemen. You know, submission is really like women who are very good at being submissive are the most manipulative. Oh, they could spin it. And that, listen, okay. as, a, as a kid, I was always told, She's she's the real leader. She lets you think that you lead. Right. Absolutely. And that's how it's supposed to be. Look at Game of Thrones and these <laughs> time movies. Right. Yeah, that's like right. bitches in the bedroom, like running the shit. Running the shit. You go out there with your chest out like it was your idea. Like, Listen. we ain't doing that no more though. Next. <laughs> it's my idea. This nigga has no ideas. <laughs> and that's why Rihanna in the front. Period. <laughs> <laughs> that the shit I don't like about that. Now, how y'all. First, y'all mad. No, not mad, but first men are saying, oh, man, ASAP Rocky exactly. the He done got a billionaire pregnant twice, right, got twice. that back. So he's in the back and y'all simultaneously mad Kissing at Kissing his baby. Right. Who's mad at that? Not him, a lot of people. Not you, you in particular, but I'm there were a lot of people. The, the internet is dumb. It's emasculating black men because Rihanna oh, no. looks oh, like oh, a oh, goddess I... in front of him. <laughs> right. Uh, now y'all fuck on my boyfriend. How you feel about that? There is definitely an a, a emasculating agenda, but I don't think How? that. I, I, I don't think that's it. There's another. I don't think that's it. Oh, okay, you're saying that. that yeah. I don't think Rihanna and ASAP right. is that. Okay, I believe there is definitely an agenda. Okay. I don't think that's that though. Okay, what's the so? Which one are you talking about then? There's a lot of them. <sighs> yeah, but really? I would just want to put this okay, out here. Okay, so so how about your man that is in Creed three, sitting there looking crazy? I was crazy. just about to say that. Her boo. That I'm trying, First of all, trying to say that. That's an anime character that they were copying with that look. So let's relax and don't do him like that. And he, Jonathan Major. You can be masculine and have on okay, like, whatever no the doubt. fuck it was. No, so there's no, a new image no, today with no, Michael B. Jordan. No, no, no. Y'all not going to make me sit here and tell me that you can be masculine in some leggings with the fucking boots attached to the whole jeans. Don't you know that yeah. a man could be dressed yeah. like you and be like sashaying in the mirror, goddamn dripping and dazzling, razzling, dazzling around other men? But you appear masculine, but here are these. What two, about two that black 80s? Men are the 80s, they, men wore oh, yeah. makeup and they dressed. The like, Isley brothers. Now, yeah, the Isley brothers. brothers. Shirt tie. Now, the 80s, technically, technically, in a way, one of the, one yeah. of the men wearing heels. wigs and heels, exactly, exactly, before us. We copying y'all for real, for real. Exactly. So. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> Johnny, all right. We're not going to do Jonathan Majors like that. That's my PSA for today. If y'all don't leave Jonathan Majors the fuck alone, okay, just because now they got him and Michael B. Jordan today looking like some brotherly love. Oh, yeah, I I just saw that recently, too. They're upset about it. I'm like, what's wrong? Now, them niggas fine. That's what's wrong. (laughs) Right. He's sitting here squinting his mouth in a whole fucking... Come on, what? Nina! These black men don't know how to tell that black man he fine, so they just hating on him. Right. What? All the black women is like, oh, this man is so see. fine. So they can't con- just Are like, congratulate him. Are you serious, him. yo? They can't can you congratulate compl- no, him. Have you ever compliment, compliment another black man? man? Exactly. Have you ever complimented a black man? Hold on, time. Not, man, not, not say, you, that's not, not, not say you he fine. Nobody wants you to tell up. another nigga he fine. Like, you looking good, sir? I could absolutely tell another man, yes, I like how you look today, sir. When's the last time you did? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Would you tell him he's cute though? I'm talking no. about the facial aesthetic. You like... look cute today, my G. No, <laughs> I know. I wouldn't. That's how y'all be it. like. I see you. That's how y'all do it. I see but you. But that's boy. okay. That's cool, right? Yeah. You can't say to I mean, another I was man like you're cute. You, you're like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What'd you say? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Ever, yo. Oh, shit. You just nodded to me. All right, no doubt. I hear you. I see. Why? You. What is that, though? Because, again, I mean, AJ had a point. Well, both of you guys did on one of the episodes, you know, how women are the reasons why, I guess, men may feel... Um, yes. Insecure? Yes. It's insecure. I want to say, like... We can't be vulnerable can be around homo- y'all. Homophobic? Vulnerable. Nah, men do that on them to themselves. So, Nobody vulnerable. No, 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 because you don't you feel like women make you feel like you can't be vulnerable. Absolutely. <laughs> I know I done did that. <laughs> what? Y'all we, 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 not watching. Not anymore, but I have. We we vulnerable like you, you can't cry in front of her or something. Tell if you saw me cry, what would you say? I'll give you a hug. Liar. It depends on why you're crying. Yeah. I bump my head outside. <laughs> look, look at you. She it even, better be fucking she, bleeding. She, <laughs> it ain't even holding back. You would laugh <laughs> if he's crying. He's really hurt. We need to take him to the hospital. Uh, I'm sorry. He's just laughing. Point proven. Thank you. Thank you. If 
I tripped and busted my ass. I laugh at you too now. Your friends be the main ones laughing ah. at your ass. Tell them my sister, man. What's I get some it. serious <laughs> shit happening. <laughs> They're like, aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's what you get. You know, uh-huh. that shit you was talking upstairs. <laughs> but I, but I be definitely careful. believe it's harder for men to be um, vulnerable and, 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 and less masculine. It's not true. It's you, you're bred as a kid not to cry. Yeah, get up. I can agree with that. You know, like that that vulnerableness is not cool. Women get the same thing. Exactly. My dad get your ass that up. way. Shut up! If I give you something to cry for, you already did. Like, right? That's why I'm crying. No, I got a daughter. My daughter cries. I'm like, oh, my little son cries. Yeah. I'm like, yo, man up. We so just you're passing down. So yeah, you passing the, you're passing you the same thing. I mean, I'm right trying now. not to as much as possible. Men should men 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 have men. I, I should just get together why. and cry or something. I understand why. men. And so y'all can laugh. Who laughs at that? Y'all would crying? not. Yo, listen, Taylor. No, All right. I, no you know bro, what? bro. If you were like, from you know a what? situation, like, you've been upset and everything else, I'm not laughing no, at you. No, I'm, so, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put together a bunch of guys. We're going to sit there and kumbaya and cry. I'm going to record it. And I'm going to say it to you. And your first reaction is going to be like, oh. I am. Look at you fucking guys. Why are you crying? What's wrong with that? Just heal, bro. Heal. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> That's healing. That's beautiful. Yeah. I love seeing men cry. If you could get a group of men together to cry, yeah, that would be beautiful. Would but be y'all beautiful. not going to do it. I bet, I bet, I bet if I gave the room, men flowers, together, like I, I said before, I bet they would start crying. Whatever, I'm moving on because I can't. I can't argue nah. this point no more. I don't, I don't know if I want to see a group of men crying. Like what y'all? What y'all niggas in here crying for? Y'all don't even got no period. Y'all don't got no cramps. Y'all don't got. That's not fair. That's, that's the problem. Like, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad somebody's being honest in this motherfucker. That's the problem. No, glad like, somebody is. Thank you, AJ. Here's the thing. I have never been in a relationship with a man who has not used the, my vulnerabilities against me in the midst of an argument. It is not something that's exclusive to women. It's a mean person thing. So we should not say, oh, women do this. And men men do the same shit. It's mean people who do shit like that. It's not Damn, exclusive I don't do that to shit. men or women. I mean, I've never... Just use it against them? In an argument? What would you say? I can't oh, remember. God. It was just like, oh, nice. it was pertinent. Are you saddest <laughs> child. <It> was... <laughs> <laughs> I think I said something along the lines like, so you don't even know if that's your damn baby. No, see, that, <laughs> that, 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 that's been said to me while she was pregnant, and I threw all her shit out. <laughs> Everything she owned was on the street. Every last fucking article of clothes like, was outside the wait, street. Wait, you that was so out mean. there too, I... picking it back up? <laughs> <laughs> You a good man. Yeah. <laughs> That's a you funny gotta throw it away too quick. I'm gonna act like it, but I'm gonna pick this shit up. No, 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 I'll tell you this story off the air because she's probably watching. Uh, okay. The moving right along. This yeah. is our last topic of, of this uh, this segment. Um, girls trips. <sighs> oh, should okay. Go ahead, read the tail. <laughs> Time out. Yes, my dog is snoring. Leave him alone. He not even sleep. Yes, he yes. Done did all that farting. That over nigga there. sound like that when he awake. Farting in his sleep, nigga. Oh my god, it's almost eight o'clock. Okay. Um, the last question is: Are girls trips as healing as social media makes it out to be? What they can think? be. They absolutely can be. So, what are you healing? Spirit. <laughs> I'm healing a lot of stuff. Just. I was about to tweet what, out. Yo, no healing goes on on girls' trips. Why y'all lying? Why y'all sitting here doing these lies? That's not That's Bitches that are fighting on girls' trips. Why y'all talking about right, that? Right, but going no, on. there is healing that goes on on girls' trips, no? You know what happens? I, I have feel healing. on the plane ride back. No. Uh, I have, <laughs> we have <laughs> great, on my girls' trip, I had great kumbaya, kumbaya moments, everything. Which, yo, Taylor. For real. You can just go somewhere and get sun and that's healing. It don't yeah. have to be like. The beach, the water. Exactly. With, yeah. I think at a certain what age. What do you want to say? Why do you not believe it? Y'all you do a girl's fun. trip. Why do you believe it? Are you like, like doing a guy's trip? You know? Have you done a guy's trip before? Y'all just go on guy's trip and buy pussy. It's the it's different. <laughs> oh. A lot of guys do that. So a lot I, I've never been to DR. If I went to DR, I probably would have. But I've never been to DR. Um, what was the question? <laughs> have you been on a guy's trip before? No. Never? No. You never want to? Well, now you're married. I, I mean, 
we did like a, a trip to AC for my birthday, but it wasn't like a guy trip. I invited a whole bunch of people, but I don't see the purpose of just going out with a bunch of niggas uh, to another country. Like, I don't want to do that no more either. I do want to be like at all beaches with a man going forward. I'm sick of girls trips. I like but I feel girl. like somebody. I love married, to say I like a like girls that. trip, but I will say though, I I like to roll with just me like four people, right? Like overall. What do you want? You, I feel like it's not good. It should be a three people for tops when you go on trips like that, because the fourth we always throw a monkey wrench in the situation. But that's just, <laughs> but, that's but at least that's with guys. I mean, it's the no, fourth one. You know, y'all that's shouldn't true. take. Right. She don't have no money. The fourth one is always the trouble. <laughs> always the trouble. He either broke or he's fucking shit. always drunk and shit. Like, how this long this would y'all be on a girls trip for? Because y'all heard envy. That's wild, crazy envy. What? Thirty days, God. It's twenty days. <laughs> Thirty days. They probably went on like a like a retreat. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like no, a she like mental she booked, detox retreat. No, it was like just. Like, so you want to mentally trip. detox for me for thirty days? And she went, we need to question the whole like different countries. She like went America, to. And yeah, and all that. Kind of, yeah, that sounds dope to me. They've been that together was fun. for a long but time. Days. He probably wanted that twenty days too. Right. No. Oh, he didn't want it. No, he didn't want that shit. He probably. I mean, he was like, you know, go like you always take care of blah blah blah. But like. He was talking about there's six kids in the he has six kids, right? Six kids he got to take I care of. I know they got a nanny. You got help. No, <laughs> he they took the nanny. he they took his assistant went and I think do they have a nanny? I don't know, but I know his assistant went. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Listen, she wouldn't know, she wouldn't have, she would have came back with in a week and a half. She would have had to come back within a week and a half. You're not Why? going 30 days, 30 Why days. Why are you saying 30? I said 20. 20. It was 20 days. Same shit. <laughs> 20 days? That's three weeks, bro. I don't want to be. You know, did, you know, you know, you know, you know what they say? How to start a new habit? Look, three yeah. weeks. <laughs> how long they been together? They've been together for a years. very long time. That's the first yeah, time they've ever been. They can be apart for some time, shit. Three yeah. weeks? Yeah. Y'all but niggas but is crazy. I feel like everybody in life should explore the, the world. The world. Exactly, huh? yeah. Away from me for three weeks? Yes. They probably done it together. I want to do it with my friends now. We're going to yacht hop. Right. Hop. Why are you, what are you so concerned about? You're just be scared by yourself or something? Right. I love my wife. Okay. You're not spending three weeks away from me. For Why? Me. What are you doing? What am I doing? Why are we not together for three weeks? Being independent. Jeez. No, see? <laughs> no, we got married. We got married for we not to be independent. <laughs> to me. Uh. I can't, I can't, I can't function for three weeks without you. I mean, that's beautiful, kind of. <laughs> I say, it kind of seems a little. <laughs> Why can't you be away from her? How long have you been long, married? Exactly. What's the long? Get, oh, I'm <laughs> Four years, three years. Well, married, well maybe at years. twenty you might feel different. Like, go for three weeks, baby. Shit, I'm taking up chair with you. Right. <laughs> I guess maybe. I say, what's the longest y'all haven't been together for? I've been with her every day since we've been together. Damn. See, this is see, this is when my I guess my independency comes because can you? I haven't like I personally haven't met a guy that like he wants to be around you that much. I, no, <laughs> I've met Don't a guy that, that wants to be around me a lot. I need my space, like for real, for real. That's a lot. Cause I mean, because I'm also used to being by myself. Mm -hmm. So, and then someone coming hey in, there. I'm not lonely. <laughs> She got the dog. Alone, but not exactly. alone. Exactly. <laughs> we know. We know. Peanut butter, the dog goes a long way. Oh, Where? Oh, Ew. Oh, that is uh, gross. That is, I'm calling Why would Peter. you even put, no. <laughs> <laughs> Taz okay. look like he be with the shits though. Stop. Tell him, Tammy. I wondering. <laughs> Y'all gonna leave my dog alone. Uh, okay. So we are now at the segment where it's cap or double tap. So this is when we have basically a question and we want you to either, you call it cap or you agree with it and double tap it. Okay. So is it cool to take relationship advice from a single person? Double what do tap. I think? I'm double tapping. Here you go, AJ. Let's go. AJ! Why not? You single? You give advice? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it just depends on who the person is. Okay, that's if fair. you are like a habitual single bitch, don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> who, if you ain't never had no money, I mean, I'm not taking financial, financial advice, advice from you. What's that for? Who? I don't know. 
Just oh. whoever's out there that's a habitual oh, single girl. Okay. Okay. Just okay. Single all the time with different guys they be talking about. <laughs> but you don't think, but in general, you don't think that though, right? Think what? A single person could give advice to. I don't think if you're... If they've been married. If you're in a relationship... <laughs> You should be taking advice from your single friends. But why? I don't understand that, though, because... Because your single friends want you to be single with them. That's not, that's not necessarily true. That's not true at all. Why do you be thinking that? That's how you men think. Trust that's how men are. That's yeah. how men think. Trust issues. Sheesh. Your single friends want you to be single along with them so you can go be partying with the wretched outside. Keep your ass right here with me. <laughs> if he the bitches in relationships be trying to get the single bitches outside. Girl, we, you ain't doing nothing this weekend. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. We, we going on, <laughs> bitch, right. we going on a trip for 20 days, bitch. <laughs> if girls with what? children. <laughs> Shit. We, we, we going on a 20-day trip, ho. You better come on. <laughs> <laughs> It don't even be us. We can blame your bitch. But also, I feel like you're generalizing it too much as if these single women haven't been in relationships before, though. Well, if if it was if it was a fruitful relationship, you'd still be in it. Well, shit, ha- how many relationships have you been in before you got married? Two. I don't believe you. Okay, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> probably about 20 other women <laughs> thought they was in relationships. Right. Uh, listen, I only brought... a. Handful home to my mom. Those were the relationships. Everything else, we were just chilling. Okay. Damn. But either way, though, it's the same thing, vice versa, with a woman. Why do you think that? But once you get, in, but what, listen, once you're in a relationship, your your advice is more palatable. That's not true, because people be in these bitch-ass relationships, and it's trash, but have the nerve to give. Right. Like, it's, that's not real. Yeah, if I know your stories, I'm exactly. not taking no relationship. Like, uh. Take your own advice. Especially, I know plenty of people like. Don't do that. What? <laughs> name whoever you was I'm not about to name. name. I'm just saying, I just know plenty like people that's in relationships and it's not like a great relationship. Or I know their history. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think I'm capping. I don't know. You, uh, even a broke clock is right twice a day, right? So you can get sound advice from anybody, relationship or single. You take it. You take oh, financial advice that's from a bum. Perhaps. <laughs> well, let's say this bum used to work on Wall Street and was very successful and turned into an alcoholic and made. But bad you know his choices, story. But he knows how to get money. But he's just making bad choices from with his life. Should I not take some advice from him about finances? No. He's fucked up because he's a drunk, not because he didn't know how to do things with money. You just it depends on the circumstances. Right. Yeah. Girl, you smart. The fuck? <laughs> I give you that one. Good. Hey, that means it's mine. It. I'm glad y'all ladies came because now I think he has better perspective. Now. Y'all, y'all, never mind. I was going to say the wrong thing. What? Gang banged me. I ain't got no choice. <laughs> what? <laughs> the hell? Pardon me? <laughs> that a gang bang. I did not touch you. You are not one of these people that's girl. under 30. <laughs> <laughs> But the conversation was good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Now, ladies, please tell them where we, they can find you guys. No, it's just a Taylor plug in her show now. Go ahead. I'm not plugging my... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram, official Tam Bam. You can follow the show, uh, We Talk Back Podcast on Instagram. AJ? Yeah. It's AJ Holiday 2.0, because the white bitch stole uh, AJ Holiday. Can I say that? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> she did it. You did it. Um, and we talk back podcast on Twitter, and we're also on YouTube, y'all. We talk back podcast. I might turn to we talk back TV. Yeah, there you go. Maybe. Yeah, I did buy the mm-hmm. domain, so maybe we'll do that. Yeah, that's what we got. That's it. That's what ladies. Thank y'all for coming. I appreciate. Thank y'all. you. This was fun. Yeah, I knew guys. it would be though. Thank you. For we gotta it. do another episode of this. This was fun. Yeah. Thank- Way longer than our normal episodes too. Thank you for. Again, putting my co-host in. No, we agreed on everything, didn't we? For so the sure. most part. No, but it's perspective. He acted right today with y'all, okay? What was I supposed to say? What, 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 how, how was I... How was you expecting me to act? Huh? He, he not got oh, these hands. You're That's an instigator. Why. Let's be very clear. There was nothing to instigate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You know what's coming, right? All right. <laughs> so y'all married, right? <laughs> Gotta navigate these, you know what I mean? <laughs> Pit balls everywhere, man. Right. He started the conversation talking about balls. Actually, talking about shit. Doo doo. And dookie. <laughs> <laughs>
Dookie balls. <laughs> so how? Yeah, how do we? <laughs> You asked us a story. (laughs) And on that note, Taylor, (laughs) how do we end this show? Well, first of all, thank you all for watching Empty Thought Show. Uh, Y'all can follow me at funsize underscore T. And if y'all want to follow me, y'all can follow me. It's at MAZ. I'm tired of y'all. Damn. I'm over Instagram. I'm about to get on TikTok. TikTok popping. So what's your thing on TikTok? The sit down with MAZ. Yeah, follow me on the TikTok. The TikTok with MAZ. I mean, the TikTok with MAZ. The sit down with MAZ on TikTok. All right, and y'all can also follow our page on YouTube as well as MP Thought Show. Um, but yes, throw it to me again. <laughs> no thought is ever empty. <laughs> I love it. All right, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Listen to empty thoughts, empty. Yeah, but there are no empty thoughts.